Welcome back, Connor High. Today is August 19, 2019. I'm Anthony. And I'm Jenny. And today we'll be talking about Conroe's first food truck park coming to downtown in early 2020 and Conroe cutting ribbon new commuter bus service. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for today's episode of Total Recap. Houston, this past weekend, our Conroe High Band had the opportunity to play the national anthem before kickoff at the Houston Texans game. The students were excited to represent our school at kickoff this previous Saturday after a mere 10 years since their performance at the Houston Astros game. Hey, do you like restaurants on wheels? Yeah. So anyways, downtown Conroe will be receiving a food truck park that is family and pet friendly. The location is planned to open by spring 2020. In other news, Conroe buses are getting a new look for Route 291. They had a ribbon cutting event recently on Monday. The cost for the remodel is said to be around $950,000. Tickets for a new one-way fare is going to be $8 per ticket. Now let's take it over to a commercial break. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a unique mix of all kinds of things. Come on, Jules, spot on this last one. Uh, there it is. He's gone with it. Leo! <laughs> they're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. Because of you, I felt hopeless. I know it was a joke, but it still hurt me. Because of you, I feel wanted and not alone in this world. Because you said hi to me on the first day of school, I felt included and I knew that I was going to be okay. What's up guys, I'm Zach, let's jump straight into today's weather. As you can see, the high for today will be 95 degrees and a low of 75 degrees with 30% chance of scattered storms. Taking a look at tomorrow, you can see that we will be having a high of 93 and a low of 77 being partly cloudy. Looking at the rest of the week, Saturday and Sunday, you may see some rain, but overall the rest of the week shall be sunny. Next week, your buddy, your shadow buddy, expect not to see him because there will not be any sun whatsoever and it will be cloudy. Now for the fact of the day, Texas is the second most populous state in the U.S. Now check out this quick video about kindness. Our fondest memories likely involve those who are kindest to us. So why aren't we kind more often? It's a tricky question to answer. Is it difficult? Expensive? Kindness can be expressed through a smile, a thoughtful word, or a helping hand. But the magnitude of these small gestures can't be underestimated. The effects are experienced by everyone involved. Those who simply witness it feel the same warmth and comfort as those who offer or receive the act. And they can all be inspired to practice and spread kindness in their own lives and in the lives of others. This unique ripple effect is the power to change the way people see and experience the world. Through acts of kindness among friends and strangers, we all foster a more caring and civil society. Kindness can be the norm, not the exception. Pass it on. Since it is only the second show of the year, we wanted to share the Welcome Back video with you one more time. Check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to Conroe High. The first day of school is always exciting, with lots of possibilities and anticipation. We wanted to start off with a few reminders about the hallways, dress code, hall passes, parking on campus, and how to keep up with everything that's going on here at Conroe High School. Parties add up quick. Remember when you hear the warning bell, you have one minute to get to class, so keep moving. You may hear the teacher say something like, walk and talk. 
This is to remind you that talking to your friends is great, but make sure to keep it moving so we aren't fogging up the hallways. Or you may hear to the right. That is reminds us to stay on the right side of the hallway so we'll be here we're going a lot faster. Hats off is just a reminder to leave our hats at home and not our head. Trench coats, ponchos, and blankets are not allowed on campus, so make sure you leave them at home. Feel free to wear your hoodie, but make sure to keep your hood off. Accessories are great, but no bandanas can be worn on campus. It tops wearing shorts is a great idea, but make sure your shorts are no shorter than two inches above the top of the knee, and make sure all shirts are long enough to be tucked in. We also wanted to remind you about a few things to know when parking on campus. If you plan to park on campus, make sure to buy your parking pass. It can be purchased in the time to If you don't have a pass or a park in someone else's spot, your car will be towed, so don't do that. Students are not allowed to leave campus for any reason in their car. If you are caught leaving campus during a school day, you will lose your parking privileges. Remember that if you are out of class at any time, you must have a hall pass either handwritten or your teacher's color pass. Lastly guys, there is no food or drink in any classroom on campus. The only place you can eat is the cafeteria. Water is allowed in a sealable bottle. We have given you a lot of important information this morning. Make sure to turn it, tune in to KTIG News every day to keep up what's going on here at CHS. We have everything from current events, sports, weather, and even a special guest. Go to KTIGnews.com to find our YouTube channel and follow us on all social media at KTIG News. See you guys soon. Announcements CHS is proud of to be starting a DECA organization this year, with, which is a business organization that prepares emerging leaders and entrepreneurs as marketing, finance, hospitality, public relations, and management fields. The first DECA meeting will be Monday, August 19th, at 3 p.m. in room four in the basement. Officers will be elected, competitions explained, and a list of places we will travel like Nashville and Disney World will be discussed. You do not have to be in a business class to be in DECA. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Hayes, Ms. Hines in room four. Conroe High School Theater will hold auditions for its fall production, Count Dracula, on Tuesday and Wednesday, August 20th and 21st after school in the auditorium. Auditions are open to everybody, and no, no experience is necessary. See Ms. Franchak and Ms. Babbitt in the theater area for more information. Seniors, come out and join us on the football field for our third annual Senior Sunrise. It's seniors only, so bring your student ID for, for entry. Bring your own blanket. The first 200 seniors will get a Senior Sunrise shirt. Donuts and coffee will be served and can't wait to see you there. The first inf informational FFA meeting is on August 20th at 6.30 p.m. in the Bistro. It, it is open to everyone who is interested in FFA. Hope to see you there. Announcements. First art club meeting of the year will be August 27th from 2.45 to 4 p.m. in room 1004. We will go over the agenda for the year, office, officer elections and homecoming activities. Attention, CHS Bass Fishing Team, please stop by Ms. Wilson's room 317 at CHS Main or Mr. Brown's office 204 at CHS 9 to turn in your paperwork, registration, and jersey order by Thursday, August 22nd. Those are all the announcements that we have for today. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to follow us at KTIG News on all social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always, CHS, start strong, finish strong. Make sure to tune in for Monday for more KTIG News. Thank <laughs> you.